Hey y'all, Novi here. In this series, I'll be leveling up a character from level 1 to level 20. We'll be getting geared and all of it in the goblin caves playing solo, not getting help from other people. We'll try to kill people for the most part, maybe make a couple friends here and there. And yeah, I'll be giving my thought making decision when we're in the dungeon and why I do what I do. And uh, hopefully it'll help some new players out. And yeah, if it does, let me know in the comments below. So starting out, Whenever I'm starting a new class, I think we're going to do Warlock first, and we may switch to another class once we max out our Warlock, but, uh, and you know, once we get tired of playing. But first thing you want to do is go to class, your perks and skills, and sometimes spells depending on the class, and choose what you want. So, with the Warlock, your main way of healing early on is Torture Mastery. Curse of Pain inflicted upon enemies restores one health to the caster with each instance of damage dealt. So then, additionally... Phantomize is really good for PvP. Right now we're just trying to level up our character though, so we're going to go with Blow of Corruption so we can kill things quicker. Generally, at the very beginning, it's good to get out like once so that you can get some better stuff, but honestly, I don't really focus on getting out at the very beginning. If I get lucky, it happens and usually it does, but generally I try to kill as many uh, enemies as I can. Not players generally, but uh, AI and that'll level you up really quickly. So let's go to our spells and our spells are good But I am gonna arrange how these are we're gonna use curse of pain the most then power of sacrifice then curse of weakness If you don't know with on the warlock you have that spell that gives you healing when you cast curse of pain and Curse of pain instantly deals 10 magic damage to the target and curses them with agony and where they receive a total of 10 magic damage distributed over 8 seconds That's where you get the heal from However, if you put a Curse of Pain on somebody and then put a Power of Sacrifice, you will also get healed from the Power of Sacrifice. And basically this just deals 3 health per second over 12 seconds. So that's 36 damage, a lot of damage for sure. Um, and yeah, so that's a lot of healing you got there. Uh, for our last two spells, you don't have a lot of options, obviously. Hellfire is just a really, really slow moving AoE. You can kill people, it's pretty hard to use. Generally in PvP, if it's like a 1v1 and they're not distracted, I don't use it. I only use Curse of Pain and Power of Sacrifice. And then Curse of Weakness, usually you don't have time to get this off before they push you. So, uh, it is strong though. You weaken the target, or you reduce the base stats of the target by 20%. Pretty huge, um, but it's just hard to get off. You don't usually have time. So anyways, that is the class. There's nothing for us to do in our stash because we don't have uh, any money. So yeah, we're good to go. Let's get into this first raid with our goal being to level up as quickly as possible so we can get those extra perks. And I'll see y'all in the dungeon. All right, we had a pretty long loading screen, but that is okay. Um, we got an okay spawn, not the best. The Hellfire right off the bat. Let him swing once, and I missed somehow. But yeah, so I used that blow of corruption and a hellfire, and we basically two shot the goblins. Went pretty well. Let's get another hellfire ready. And I always try to let them, I always try to move forward and let them swing and stay in the same place. Because if if you don't do that, if you let them chase you around, then you're going to get stuck against the wall and they're going to swing and hit you. So you always don't leave space with them when they're about to swing. So we got a torch. Light foot, light foot boots, really good. Uh, more move speed than most other boots. So I definitely would suggest running them if you get the chance. And if you didn't know, destroying vases does give XP. It's not a lot, but it's always worth destroying them for sure. Um, also, vases seem to have a pretty high chance of getting consumables and stuff like that. So. I don't like what they're chasing so far. Alright, now we can Hellfire them through the wall. Hellfire does go through walls. Might have done that a little high. Is 
they actually dip out? Huh. Interesting. Now if that doesn't hit them, I don't know what I'm doing. Ah, uh, there we go. Alright, as you can see, Hellfire does do a lot of damage for sure. We do need to heal up now though. Sometimes a uh, Hell Shrine will spawn right there. Sometimes it's a chest, just sort of depends. And honestly, we can just let these run out and let them. And I walk sideways there because walking sideways is faster than walking backwards. We're just gonna heal up. Also, it, casting does slow you down. However, if you jump while casting, you keep your momentum when you are moving at a fast speed. So just something to keep in mind. We'll take those leather pants. We can't use the rapier. What we're looking for here is a long sword or a claymore, I believe. No, a falcon, sorry. Long sword or a falcon. Shadow Mask, really, really good for us. Plus one to all attributes, and that one's green as well. So, looking pretty good here, actually. I wouldn't mind getting out of this raid. For sure. Um, we could can go down here, check if anyone has looted a good loot spot. I don't think we're going to have time, really. Uh, but what we can do is get this ready. Die soon. There we go. I don't know if we want to. Yeah, he's no friend, that's for sure. Alright, so we're moving back. Gotta get going though. Looks like he pulled them down that way. That's good. We can loot this. We don't want to be this way though. We want to go through there. Awesome. So I sent that Hellfire through there, so that we can get through the wood real quick. We're gonna go this way. I think they killed him, so we're not gonna worry about that. I was gonna try to get some more loot. I didn't realize we had to go so far. Very unfortunate. Oh, the wall trap. What we're going to do is we are going to kill those goblins, um, but we're going to heal up first real quick. Doing okay on loot. Again, we don't really care about loot. We're just trying to kill as many AI as we can. Kills there, and we got a long sword. It's actually exactly what we were looking for. So, a build that I've been trying out. That. That I'm not 100% sure on. Is you can go blow of corruption which is our key right now. And then you can just go phantomize and not use spells at all. On Warlock. And it seems to be pretty strong, actually. So with the Goblin Archers, they're really easy. You can just see when they're about to shoot. 
And when they're about to shoot, you can just sidestep them, honestly. It's really easy to deal with them, for the most part. Except when you're in a flat hallway. That was unfortunate. So this is one of the only other options of exiting in the goblin caves other than the <coughs> blue portals. And we can actually just walk up this thing. And it sounds like we get killed. And then it's a bunch of rocks falling down, but actually it just means that we're getting out. So a uh, very successful first raid, I'd say. Extremely successful. I'm really glad how that went. We got out with a long sword. We got out with a green mask, green light foot boots. Um, and yeah, we can sell some stuff as well to the collector. And yeah, so we're, let's uh, run it back. I'm just going to run with the long sword. We're not going to run with spells this time. I'm going to show you how I do it without the spells. Uh, for the most part, it's probably a lot more effective to run spells. You can kill more stuff. But because I got the long sword, um, we're just going to run it like that for once, and it, it'll be a fun time. So I did switch over to the will because we don't need torture mastery. It won't do anything if we're not running spells. Um, though I guess will doesn't, I don't think it actually helps as much here. So maybe we want to go with Dark Reflection. Basically, Dark Reflection, well, if you take damage while Dark Reflection is on cooldown, you will reflect 10 Dark mag Magic damage to the attacker. So it's just a little bit of extra damage to the enemy. And yeah, so let's get straight into it, into another one. I hope I remembered to put the gold in my inventory. I think I did. We can throw out the staff. We don't need it anymore. And the idea with the longsword is you can kill a lot of goblins extremely quickly just by uh, <coughs> reposting on them. So you hold right click and their sword hits your sword and then you can right click, tap right click two more times and you'll get two quick attacks that do a ton of damage. So I will attempt to show you all this here. Fortunately, this isn't the best place because we're against a bola. Bola guys are really annoying. Oh, shit. All right, we'll take out this guy first. So you have to be sort of careful and like that. And then you basically one tap them. If if I had blow of corruption there, I would have one tapped. And with the ranged guys. So with this guy, eventually he's gonna try to cast a buff. So you can just keep him casting. There we go. There's his buff. And right now, you can actually just kill him. Oh, fucker. Okay. Didn't go perfectly, but not the worst. That's an upgrade to our thing, so not bad there. Something I could have done is bought some healing. Um, we don't have any healing right now, so that's no bueno. But... For the most part, vases give a lot of healing items. So, if we manage to find some vases somewhere, which I believe there's some up this way, uh, sometimes we can get a healing potion or a bandage out of those. We will be heading back that way though, I believe. Okay. Let's go through here. Yeah, here are the vases. Oh. Silver coin. Honestly, silver coins I don't even pick up. They're just not worth the inventory space. It's three silver coins to one gold coin. And for the most part, most of the items we're looting are worth way more than one gold coin. So, so we could go this way, actually. Or up that way. And there is a healing shrine up there usually, so I think that might actually be what we do. The only thing is, I don't know, there's a centipede down the hallway, which if you don't know, centipedes are um, a like the mini boss for the goblin caves, and uh, they're pretty hard to fight. I think it did chase us actually. Um, we're gonna try to fight this rogue. <laughs> Nice. Was not perfect, and we definitely don't want to fight the centipede now. <clears throat> Shit. Okay, 
we're just gonna run away. I don't know if we're gonna get away. Probably wasn't worth fighting the rogue there, honestly. No! It's gonna be pretty hard to dodge everything. Oh shit. I think we got hit by the... Alright, let's go. Come on. Die here. Yeah, there wasn't enough room to fight it. You can circle around it and not get hit, but that's okay. That's how it goes sometimes. And just have to not let it get to you and go right back in. So we're going to switch back to our perks for leveling up quickly. And get right back into the battle. So generally when you're starting out, it's not worth taking PvP fights, especially if you don't have healing. So don't fight the rogue like I did last time. It's not worth it, guys. Anyways, we got a very nice spawn. This is basically the center of the map. And we can choose to go to any room that we want. Now generally, the room that I like to farm the most in is this one up to the north because you can pull a bunch of goblins all at once. And oh, shoot, we missed. There we go. Skeleton is a little bit tanky. Get those better boots real quick. Let's go hit this vase. Hopefully, we don't pull that skelly. It's just not worth fighting there okay so this room up here in the north fastest way to level up i think in the goblin caves is to pull all the goblins and hellfire we don't do well against rangers where is this ranger Actually, mash hit us. Yeah. Nice, we got him. Okay. So the reason we killed him there. is because Chris of Pain does 10 off the rip. Oh shoot. I don't know how that didn't hit that guy. We need heals real bad. Um, that not hit him? That hit me again. I don't know why this didn't hit, hit the enemy. Anyways, it doesn't matter. Alright. Let's do one more run for this episode, and then uh, 
I'll do another one tomorrow. Yeah, I should be releasing these every day for the most part. So we'll do one more run, hopefully. I don't know why my power sacrifice hit me instead of the enemy. Generally, if you miss, it goes on you, and then you take the 36 damage, which is a lot for sure. Um, but I'm pretty sure I was aiming at them. I don't know what happened there. All right. This is an okay spawn. It's not wonderful. If we have time, we can actually go over to the room we were just in. We actually missed that, maybe. There we go. Sometimes you can get amulets or rings off of those, so it's always good to check for sure. Just kill this death beetle. That we're not gonna miss our. Thing. And these are pretty easy to sidestep their attack as well. You can bonk them on the head a little bit. It's taking it slow, not taking damage. Kill this guy real quick. That was weird. Bonk. And there are usually three goblins on the other side of this road thing, so we can use a hellfire here. That'll generally kill the mage, actually. Go up a little bit. Bonk him. This actually might be a nice falling axe. I didn't look at what the... Eh, it's okay. Yep, we did manage to kill him. Okay, pretty easy, not bad at all. We're gonna try to move into that building, or that room over to our right. Crystal swords aren't bad. They're not amazing. But we may use it. Green robe for us, I'll take it. And a warm all. That's not very good. All right, let's get moving. Let's get into that circle. It's always good to get into the circle early so that you don't have to rush into other people. Take that. So we saw that guy go down there, so I'm gonna cast one more Hellfire and see if we can get him uh, through the wall. I don't know if we will, but we can try. <laughs> Definitely hurt someone. I'm just gonna cast a pin on all of these guys, heal up full, and then. Oh, I really wish that hadn't hit us. Oh no. Just keep walking. Yep. Jump, cast. to kill this mage. Mm. 
Edge okay, killed his own friend. Need to move. Kill him. Let's get going. There is a skelly in here sometimes that we're gonna have to kill. Now yeah, we can hear him. Interesting, two people already got out. That doesn't bode well. And we hear a barbarian as well. Barbarians are sort of our bane. We do get one shot by them, and without a longsword, there's not much we can do. So, for the most part, if we see a barbarian, we're dipping. We can loot the large chest. I think we're gonna go through the uh, storm or swarm and go around. Worn outfit is actually one of the best things you can wear as a warlock, just because it is. 33 armor rating. Uh, so yeah, it's really, really good. Alright. Um, yeah, we're gonna go through the through the swarm, go around to the other side. Generally in goblin caves, it feels like for the most part portals spawn up top a lot more than down below. So we're gonna attempt to not fight this guy by going around. Well, that's an unfortunate trap to be caught in. We don't, we don't have too much loot, but... Chill here and see if we can get a portal to spawn. Not trust this rogue at all. He comes through that door, we're killing him. Take the extra stuff just for a little bit more to sell. the barb, see if he has anything on him. Take the gloves, take the pants. I'll take the boots too. Generally it's not good to sell items like that. They don't usually sell for very much. However, we don't have much else anyways, so... Yeah, I'm pretty sure that means that someone just took the... We're going to attempt to open this before that rogue comes back. If he does, we'll do our best to kill him. I think we should get out here, though. There we go. Another successful extract. Great way. This, I wonder if he got stuck in his own trap. That'd be pretty funny. Let's see if he gets killed by the rogue. Oh, the rogue's dead. Yeah, the rogue's not here anymore. Okay. Anyways, back to the lobby we do. Let's go sell our stuff real quick. Collectors who you sell items to like that. Definitely not a great run, but that is okay. We'll probably use those. Why not? Anyways, it doesn't matter. Um, let's go to the armor. We can sell that. that. As you can see, these don't sell for... In the world. Yes, we can wear those. Why can I not? 
Does this go? Who do I sell that to? Maybe the collector? Huh. I've never found one of those before. Anyways, really good first run. I think we're gonna end it off by going to the, no, no, no long swords for us. Okay, so I will be leveling up this character to the max, level 20, and then we'll do some PVP, get as geared out as we can. Our first goal is to reach level 10 as fast as possible so that we can get to the trade hall. That's where you'll make the majority of your money to get geared out. We're looking pretty good right now. We got the crystal sword, we got the warden outfit. Um, Warden outfits are actually usually really cheap. Uh, he doesn't have them right now, but Marauder outfits basically the same, just slightly worse. Um, and it's only 10 gold for a uh, pretty good armor. Uh, I think your base set is only 15. So uh, go to the Leathersmith to get a little bit geared. But yeah, so this has been episode one of, I don't know what I'm going to call this series. I'm sort of basing it off of Pestle's raid series for Tarkov, but it'll be for Dark and Darker. So maybe I'll call it the Delve series or something. I'll figure it out. Yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please let me know in the comments below and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you want to catch my future episodes. Actually, I had a lot of fun making this video, so um, I'll definitely be making them in the future. So um, yeah, thanks for watching y'all. Thanks to my channel members, Jed, Hashtrell, and Professor Oak for supporting me. I really appreciate it, guys. And um, yeah, I stream every morning for the most part from 9 a.m. CST to 11 uh, a.m. CST. So if you want to catch me there, feel free to... Uh, hit up my YouTube. I stream on YouTube. And yeah, anyways, thanks for watching. Good luck in your raids this week. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, y'all.